Six. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London and daily vlog number two now that we are back from Portugal. And I'm very much still in the transition phase of getting used to being back in the UK and used to the grey clouds. However, I'm driving my girlfriend's car, just dropped her off at work, and now I'm heading to SB Race Engineering. This is the first time that I've been there since back from Portugal. But I've got quite a few important bits to do in the office today, so it's gonna be quite a boring day, quite a static day, but fingers crossed I can get out of the office. At some point, do um, some cool vlogs or whatever it is, but I need to catch up with my emails, that's my number one priority. Obviously, um, continue doing the social media, as always, um, and fingers crossed, I'm also gonna be buying a new vlogging camera today. I mentioned it in the Q&A three days ago, I think it was, it was on Sunday, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what it is, but um, so yeah, fingers crossed I'm going to be buying a vlogging camera today. I've had some advice and I will talk to you more about that once I get to the office. But What's up guys? I am back at the SB Race Engineering office and there's lots of stuff going on. A couple of Ferraris outside. There's a nice red Dino if you're into your classic Ferraris. There, I'm trying to work out the camera. And the coolest thing um, happened this morning. I got sent this message from Owen Johnston, who runs OJ Designs, saying that he, he runs, uh, uh, I run my own car illustration print company on Instagram. I've been a fan of yours for a long time and find much inspiration from your videos, especially from my first supercar series. After you announced you're selling your R8, I wanted to do something cool, so I have made a print of all four stages your car went through. Thought it'd be a nice way to remember the car. Now, that's absolutely awesome. And this is how it came, like this. Uh, give me two seconds. Uh, right. Check this out. As you can see, it started being silver, then went to Iron Man, then went to the baby blue, and then went into the, the Army Tricks Nardo Grey Beast. Unbelievable. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is flip the camera around so you guys get to see it in a bit more detail. Isn't that like the coolest thing ever? So Owen, thank you very much. Huge shout out to OJ Designs. I think I've put it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over and check it out at Wallace PJW, and then you'll be able to see that picture and also the tag OJ Designs as well. So you can check out the work that they do. Unbelievable, absolutely superb. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but um, it's definitely going home with me and gonna be going up on a wall very, very soon. Video edited, five past 11. So I've still got plenty of time today and it's currently rendering at 5% complete. I think that the uh, first vlog of the second part of the summer has come out well. I'm really pleased with how it came out, regardless of the fact that I couldn't even get any content of being in the Koenigsegg 1-1, which was a real shame, but a fantastic experience. And I never thought that for a long time, the fastest car that I've ever been in was a Ferrari Enzo, I think. So to go out in a Koenigsegg 1-1, you've kind of like just gone straight to the top, which is really cool. And uh, now I am just currently waiting and a few bits of coming in on my phone. Um, so I need to attend to that. I'm currently doing emails as well and uh, just trying to keep myself as busy as possible as I get through the morning. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna have a lot of fun going through um, Amazon and getting my vlogging camera. Can't wait for it to arrive and I'm hoping that if I order it, I'm gonna go online now actually, and if I can order it before midday or one o'clock, whether it comes next day, I have no idea what the Amazon delivery times are at the moment. Um, I just know that sometimes they're a bit of a joke if you're not on Amazon Prime. So let's just go on now. So let's give you a brief background as I type out the exact camera that I have been advised to get. The Sony, no, the Canon PowerShot S120. Um, this camera has been used by many friends 
their vlogging camera and Jonathan who you've seen appear on a couple of my videos with the Maserati um, but also has his very very massive famous successful YouTube channel Sakoni Jolies with over a million subscribers he's heading off to LA at the end of uh, the middle of this week actually tomorrow as you're watching it he's already on the plane um, as you're watching this vlog sorry um, he, I basically went out and tried to find the ideal camera for the vlogs. Now, the criteria was obviously very good quality, very good sound, and because I'm dealing with cars and loud supercars, it's always got to have a very, very good microphone. And the one thing that I think is really cool about the daily vlogs as well that I see um, across the spectrum of big YouTubers is that their the quality camera is so good. The focus between me with everything in the back background being in a really cool soft focus. I absolutely love that and that was the one thing that I really hope that this camera's got. So um, I spoke to Jonathan and he said that was the, the Canon S120 was the camera that he used to use and this is before I even suggested it. So this is the camera that I'm hoping to get and it's currently £204.99 and yesterday there was 15 in stock and now there's only 13 so I better be quick. Choose a delivery speed. I can get an express delivery and get it by the 16 or the 18th. There's no next day delivery. Six quid to have it in potentially two days. This is so annoying. I just want it delivered tomorrow. Right, I'm going off Amazon. It's in my basket, but I am going to Google. I always type in Sony, it's Canon. My DSLR is Canon, so I know that they're good. I'm calling Curry's. Thanks for calling Curry's and PC World. There are four options to choose from. For the address and opening hours of your local store, press 1. Or for anything else, please press 4. Whenever you get these things, you always do anything else, because then you always get put through to a person first. And a colleague will be with you so always wait until it's, if for anything else, please press four. Press four, and you should get put through to a person straight away. Good morning, Ladies and gentlemen, it is in. £209, two year guarantee included. Well, that has sold it for me. How do I check whether it is in store? I'm going to call them. I'm going to call up John Lewis Watford and find out. So we can get you to the right person. We've got six choices for you. Six? Wait to for number our six. Shop opening hours, press one. Nope. For questions about an electrical or home technology product, Three. Could be three. If you've ordered or had a quote for fitted flooring, press four. No. Or for anything else, press six. Six. Thank you. Good morning, is there a father? How can I help? Hi, yeah, I'm a Well, that was successful. So, Curry's originally um, had in stock £209 and they didn't have them in stock, which means I would have had to have ordered it and then it comes the next day and there wasn't any in the local area. So I went on John Lewis because I realised that they also do price match, so they would have matched Curry's price, but also give the warranty. And they've got them in stock in Watford, so I'm going to be heading in there. I'm going to be waiting back a call from the personal shopper who is reserving it for me. I only just <laughs> I only called up. That's why, I did this. That's why I did the survey, because it was such good customer service. But again, again, it proves that my theory with the... Um, sort of keypad uh, robot that talks to you before. You always wait till the last one that says, for anything else, please press six. Six, straight through to a person every single time. Guys, that is my top tip of the day. <laughs> Heading into town, going to John Lewis, where there is a wonderful vlogging camera reserved for me, which has been an unbelievable customer service, calling them up and then having it um, completely reserved for me for the whole day, I hope. Um, so I'm heading there now. So here we are in the famous car park where I took my um, R8 to go shopping in to do the two shopping videos. 
I had to climb up these. Obviously, it's slightly easier with the Fiat 500. Still quite narrow. And I think whatever car I get next, I'm not sure there's going to be a, uh, a video in here because it is so tight. And I think, oh, tire squeal in the Fiat. Time to get my vlogging camera. Car's parked somewhere over there. Not sure if you can see it. Quite quiet today. Tuesday afternoon, no one's really shopping. Time to head to John Lewis. As you can see, camera has been purchased. They're not my tires squealing now. But it's time to head back to SB and then get on with some work. I've made the purchase, guys. Vlogging is about to get a lot more, a lot better quality. I don't know where I was going with that sentence. A lot better quality, and I hope that I can start producing and editing the vlogs a little bit better as well. And I'm starting to take it seriously throughout this summer. is going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to get started. I just need a set of wheels, and that is coming soon as well. I might be able to have an answer, but the end of the day for you to do with the car. It is time with my phone plugged in as it runs out of battery very quickly. I hope the new Sony S1, no, Canon S120 has got good battery life. I did not think about that. Worst case scenario is I have to get an extra battery, but it is time to leave. And I'm heading off from SB, going for a cruise. I've just thought as well, because I'm going into London tomorrow, I might not have the time to unbox and show you fully or even transit do the transition between my iphone and the new sony vlogging camera so it might be on hold for another 24 hours and i might still get away with doing another vlog with my iphone i'm not too sure but the other thought thought that i had was my new sony vlogging camera doesn't have a front facing screen which means that i'm going up a difficulty level in the vlogging world so to begin with i'm on easy i can see myself i can see what i'm vlogging and making sure that i'm in the frame there's no soft focus auto focus or anything like that but the new camera has got manual focus and also i can't see what i'm filming so it's going to be a real um there's going to be a time of me getting used to it but fingers crossed i can get by that pretty quickly but if i head into central london tomorrow I won't take my Sony cam and I'll leave it at home until I can really just do one introductory vlog <laughs> at home and uh, not have to worry about missing anything really cool car wise or anything else. But the one thing that I checked as well is my Montar car mount will be able to hold my um, new vlogging camera, which is good. So I can stick it up there and vlog from cars. Right guys end of the vlog i've reversed or swapped duties from driving and now in a passenger seat as we head down to grab some food for dinner to keep me refueled until tomorrow morning and then i'm going to be waking up and heading into central london but not too early so it's going to be a bit of a lie-in which is nice might give me some time as well to check out my new video camera which i still haven't done it's still in the box because there isn't a memory card in there so there's no point in me doing it but thanks for watching thank you for coming on this journey with me and hopefully you're enjoying these daily vlogs as much as you did in part one in june i'm really excited about what's to come i'm in london tomorrow if the weather is nice i'm also going to hang around and do a bit of car spotting as well because apparently there's a few cars still arriving from the arab states so it's definitely worth checking a few of the hotels and just wandering around so fingers crossed it stays dry thanks for watching guys make sure that you subscribe if you are new give it a thumbs up or the thumbs down if you don't like the content and you're looking forward to the new camera um, but i will see you tomorrow for daily vlog numero three I was gonna say trois and be all French, but yeah, number three. Cheers, guys. Spotted a Schmi 150 over here. I'm gonna creep up on him. Um, and basically, I'm too young to drive these cars. 